we will install the third component of the Pi system connector called Pi Data Collection Manager or DCM. In the previous videos, we have already installed the connector and the relay. And in this one, we will install the DCM. Here is the list of tasks that we will cover in this video. Let's start by running the install kit. This server is the DMZ DCM and is in the Arcadia domain in DMZ. Here is the install kit. Right click, run as admin. As a requirement, the .NET Framework and AF Client will be installed in addition to the Pi DCM. The .NET Framework install usually requires a server reboot. It is required to specify a default Pi data archive in an optional AF server. We use the destination Pi server, which is in the corporate network. The next step is to choose a port. This is the port that will be used to host the DCM administration web service. Here we use 5462. Next, we need to specify a service account to run the DCM service. We have already created a low privilege service account to use, which is the best practice and recommended. The installation kit will create two local Windows groups. One of them is the Pi Connector Administrators. Any users added to this group will be able to access the administration web service. The members of this group will have permission to connect to the DCM admin page to change the configuration, stop and start the connector and relay, and also route the data flow. Since we are running the install kit as John user, it is already selected. We will be using the same user to configure the DCM in the next video, so we add it to this group. More users could also be added if needed. Now let's check the service. And it is running as the Pi DCM domain account that we selected during the install. Now let's check the created Windows local groups. Here is the Pi Connector Administrators and the Pi Trusted Installers. The members of the first group will have access to the DCM admin page. And those of the second group will be able to install and register the Pi Connector to the DCM. 
In the next video, we will use the John user to register the connector. So we add it to the PyTrusted installers group. Now let's configure security. In our setup, we are using three untrusted domains, the communication between the DCM and the connector and the relay is through certificates, which are being exchanged as part of the registration process. On the other side, Windows integrated security is used between the DCM and the destination server. Since we are using untrusted domains, we need to take some extra steps to give the DCM service account access to the destination Pi server. Depending on your network setup, you may skip this step. The DCM is running as a service account in the Arcadia domain and needs access to the untrusted TeamWatt domain. In this setup, we created a dedicated domain account in the TeamWatt and used Windows Credential Manager to map the service account in the Arcadia domain to the TeamWatt domain. Then the TeamWatt account could be easily given access to the destination server by configuring PI and AF mappings. Now let's configure Windows Credential Manager for the DCM service account. We start by opening a command prompt on the DCM node, running it as the DCM service account. So this command prompt is running as the DCM service account. And we are on the DCM node, which is DMZ DCM. Here we add the destination server CorePi SRV1, which is in the team bot domain in the corporate network. the user in the TeamWatt domain, and its password. Here is the credential that we just created. Next, we want to give DCM permissions to the destination AF server. Here are the required permissions on the destination AF server. Here is the core Pi SRV1 in the corporate network. Following the best practice, first we create an identity in the AF server. And then we map it to the DCM account. Then we give it server level permission. We add the new identity to the list. and give it read access at the server level. We do not modify the child permissions. Next, we give it read and read data permission on the destination database, which is the US refining. Here we choose to give the read permission on all the objects in this database 
and we also want to update all the child permissions. Next, we want to configure the security on the destination PI data archive. Here are the required permissions on the PI data archive. First, we start by creating a new PI identity on the destination PI data archive. And then we map it to the DCM account. Next, we go to the database security and give it read permissions to the required tables. First one is the PyDBSec. We give it read permission. PyDS table. PyPoint table. Again, we just need read access. Pi replication. And the Pi user at the end. Now that all the components are installed, we will configure the connector on the DCM in the next video.